Hiya, baked feta spaghetti squash. Guys, this is gonna be amazing. It is so easy to make, just a few ingredients, and I think you guys are really, really gonna like it. Welcome back to the kitchen with Tabby. Let's get cooking. All right, friends, let's get this baked feta spaghetti squash put together. I've got everything prepped, so it should go pretty quick. I've got my spaghetti squash that I have cut in half, cleaned all of the seeds out, and like my nephew Jordan would say, they are nice and shiny and clean. They are ready for ready for what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take some of our wild olive, butter flavored olive oil, and we're just gonna drizzle, drizzle that olive oil all over that on both of them. And then I'm going to take some of my BT Lee's something for everything. And you know, it's got the garlic, the um, salt, the pepper, just all kinds of a spice blend. It's really, really good stuff. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that all over the top and you can use whatever seasoning you want. Totally up to you. So we're just gonna be pretty generous with that. We want some good flavor in there. And then I am gonna put just a little bit of onion powder on there. Just a little added touch of that. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of this cranberry walnut balsamic vinegar on it. This is what I'm really excited about. I've been wanting to try this on something and I think this is just the thing to try it with. I think it's gonna be really good. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so we're just gonna drizzle just a little bit. It's pretty thick. So we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of that balsamic on there, both sides. Okay, now we're going to take our feta. It is called baked feta, right? So I took a block of feta, cut it in half. We're gonna put a half of the block in each side of the squash. And then I have some little cherry tomatoes and we're just gonna put some cherry tomatoes in there. Just cover that feta up. Now, if you guys remember my baked feta pasta that I make, that's really good too. And that's pretty much the same concept except this time we're going to use the squash instead of the pasta. So you wanna make sure you get a nice, I'm using the whole container, there we go. The whole container and this is a 10 ounce container of little cherry tomatoes. And now I'm just gonna drizzle just a little bit more of the olive oil on top of those tomatoes. Just a little drizzle, okay? That's it, my friends. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. We're gonna get these in there. They're gonna bake for about 40 minutes or until the squash is nice and tender. And then we're gonna take it to the next step. Let's get them in the oven. All right, timer set. When it goes off, I'll come back and we'll take it to the next step and we're gonna have some lunch. Hang tight. All right, timer went off. Let's get them out. tell you it smells amazing. I'm gonna bring you over here so you can see it a little bit closer. Hang on. All right, now's the fun part. Well, they're definitely done. Oh yeah, definitely done. The spaghetti squash always amazes me how it looks just like spaghetti when you start scraping your fork through it. It's the craziest thing. Lost a tomato. I'm gonna try to mix that cheese up in there a little bit. That oil and that vinegar has made a really nice juice. Of course, the tomatoes have released a little bit and the squash. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I can tell this is gonna be good. I can smell that cranberry walnut in there. All right, I'm gonna scrape all this out and get it out on my plate and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got it all ready. It is piping hot, but we're gonna get a little taste. Look at that spaghetti squash, how it just looks like spaghetti. It just amazes me every time. All right, let's get a little bite here and make sure I get a little cheese. Thank you, Lord, for this food, amen. Mmm.
that is really good. I can taste that cranberry walnut, but it's not too strong. The tomatoes, the feta cheese. Guys, it's delicious. I think you're gonna love it. And if you don't have cranberry walnut vinaigrette, make yourself some. I have a video on my Facebook page. If you do a little search for balsamic vinegar, you will find the recipe for that and it is so easy. So easy, guys, you're gonna love it. So even if you don't have the cranberry walnut, you can make yourself some cherry balsamic, strawberry balsamic. I think any of those would be absolutely delicious with it. So, all right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make yourself some baked feta spaghetti squash. Jump out of your comfort zone and do something a little bit different. I think you're gonna be really happy with it. All right, I hope you have an amazing day. Please remember, I love you so much, but God loves you even more than I do. Remember also, he is the silent listener at every conversation, the unseen guest at every dinner table. So please make sure those words coming out of your mouth are pure and sweet like honey. Proverbs 16, 24 tells us that. Make sure that you're lifting each other up, speaking sweet words to each other, and just shining your light because that's what we're called to do. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.